Thank you very much, Riv. Yes, I'm here with GBM, who pulled out the first Karma of the North American LCS this year. GBM, why Karma this game? I'm first? Yeah. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I thought um, in practice, Scream, um, Karma just trying, and oh, this is not bad, and keep trying. Oh, this is maybe good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and oh, my team come today. Oh, this is like Karma is good, and I pick Karma. Well, it's wonderful to hear that you're bringing something new. It's very exciting, of course. Uh, talk to me about energy as a team. You guys are not doing as well as you would expected. Uh, how are you fixing these issues and getting up towards the top? Um, um, it, it was better than I expected. And we, last week and last, last week, uh, came so much loose. But we, we are team. And teammate, um, take care of both. <laughs> and I'll take and Moon. So young, and, and I, I have to take care of him, and we will be more improving, and we will be top team. You'll be top team, so you're you're going to win Spring Split. Yeah, I yeah. want I want to go Las Vegas. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, Ed, by the way, thank you for your help translating, but of course, GBM bringing out the English, <laughs> making it much easier. Uh, congratulations on, on having a great job translating here. Uh, <laughs> GBM. <laughs> thank you so much for the English interview, and uh, we're gonna toss it down to the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Freak. Uh, GBM's got some dance moves there. The my rival, Zyrene the himself. Surprise people with Zillion, surprise people with Karma, surprises everyone with an English interview. And then dance moves. Hey, we need a translator for GBM. No, we don't. A small dance battle. No. Apparently not. Yeah. Comfort. Uh, yeah, there's, there's that one. It's like, well, Sonny did a fantastic job holding that microphone. I tell you yeah. that much. Yeah, Freak had to put her on blast like that. I know, right? So uh, weird. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this game, because Energy does pick up a win here. At the beginning of the day, we had talked about that this was the team, one of the teams looking to slump and maybe fall out of that top six playoff mm -hmm. spot. They do secure a very important victory for themselves here. Granted, it is against Dignitas, who sits below them in the standings. Uh, analyzing this game is kind of tough. It, it was a weird one. There was a lot of kind of funky plays between the two teams where they were opting into some weird trades, particularly on the side of Dignitas. Yeah, I, I definitely think it wasn't your standard game. I, I, when you when you have two teams fighting like five v five in the mid lane around the tier two turret with like four or five turrets down, and that's yeah. going for first blood, like Woo. this is not exactly <laughs> what you're expecting to see in a standard League of Legends game. So, I mean, I think a lot of it was really just energy getting the extra turrets off of the lane swap, get, picking up the extra global gold, and kind of allowed them to get that pressure and, and kind of group early, and they just kind of made it work. Yeah, let's talk about that turret trade, right? We saw a yeah. tier two for an inhib turret. Just, I mean. It isn't a good trade. Yeah, it's obviously something Dignitas is like, all right, guys, that trade's good. We, we got half of the turrets as they did. They got our base. Yeah. It, it was just they were behind on the play. Yeah. So energy pushed much more quickly with the Nidalee and the Ezreal being able to amplify each other's attack speed. Team Dignitas was already slow, so they thought they were probably going to be able to just trade one and then, okay, we'll get back before they finish it. But they took too long getting back. They sent a bard back to help yeah. Trundle. Trundle has no way of assisting with wave clear in those situations. And they they were just a little slow in adapting. But either way, they're down a turret in that trade. So they got one for two instead of one for nothing. Right, yeah. So, and that turret's still worth about 750 global gold for the team. Not quite as much as a tier one, but still some gold that falls into uh, Energy's pockets. We saw a pretty early 1k gold lead, which slowly extended to 2 and 3k. Another thing I want to touch on, and we've touched on this before, is GBM's champion pool, yeah. and that they can find success when he pulls out something new, but that sometimes that success is hard to replicate if he brings that champion out again. It might be a one and done kind of situation. Yeah. I want to get your thoughts on the karma coming out here in the middle. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see if he is able to replicate this. I mean, he's now this is the second time he's brought out a champion. We haven't seen anyone playing in the mid lane for any LCS. He brought out the Zillion, fantastic game one, tried it again, I believe, and it didn't work out so well. Right. So will he be able yeah. to replicate that? I'm not sure. Um, but I loved the karma pick when we were watching the champion select. It actually made a lot of sense for me. And um, you saw the power of karma. When they're when they're mid lane, they're sieging. It allows them to actually much more aggressively poke because they have the shields, they have the speed up. They're able to get in, get damage out, push people back 
back, forced these important cooldowns, uh, and it allowed them just constantly chip on the way on the turrets, chip away on the turrets. And Karma was really like instrumental in this. You know, the AOE shield for engage, for disengage, yeah. and even just one, so you can get a shot or two off on the turret. And it seemed like Energy kind of snuck a poke comp that was much yeah. better than what Team Dignitas had yeah. with those last picks. And it, it does really call into question the last pick trundle from Team Dignitas' mm. side because we saw those mid-game team fights when they were trying to stop the siege. And this Trundle is just trying to like walk in there, getting blasted by Karma, pretty much never able to land auto attacks. And like, I'm not entirely sure what the Billy Boss champion pool is at this point, but something like a Lissandra right there would have worked wonders mm. for some type of yeah. hard initiation for what they needed. Uh, but it's obviously not all about the draft. They got out rotated and lost too many turns. Right. There should be. There's no doubt in your mind what kind of composition or what kind of play style Energy is assuming when they pick these five champions. You've got the two tanky frontliners and Alistair and Poppy that both have tremendous disengage and peel for their three ranged carries, Ezreal, yep. Nidalee, Karma. They got plenty of poke from all three of them, mm -hmm. plenty of damage on turrets. As you mentioned earlier, Jap, the attack speed steroids to help each other take those turrets down. So it's very clear what they want to do. Does call into question the way that Dignitas drafts without having engaged yep. like Lissandra. But now I want to challenge us to find a distinct differentiation between these two teams in terms of what separates them in their ability to play or win games. And I think you kind of alluded to it there to begin with, is just the ability of energy to take more objectives yeah. on the map. Yep. Which is interesting because before the day we were saying, hey, energy's hitting all of their weak points. They don't have communication and Moon and Conquan have no trust on the team. But in this in particular game, Moon was doing some very aggressive counter jungling, was jumping in what looked like very early for fights, but they were backing him up and gaining pressure off of it. So this time, the differentiating factor was actually the macro rotations, which has been one of Energy's big weak points. So I give them big props for having a big jump in play from last week to this one in that aspect. Yeah, I mean, when you're down two kills and you're up a decent chunk of gold, you know, the, the macro play is going very, very well for you. And it's just something that you don't always need to get those kills to be able to win a game. And that's something that I think some of the less experienced teams are, are, are learning still. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it kind of alludes to then the, one of the problems that we see with Dignitas is that they're a little bit slow on those rotations. They're not quite to the level of macro play. And they end up, to a degree, getting relegated to to a, a kill-hungry game, yeah. right? They, their way into the game was only to get kills, and we saw them netting a couple, but their ability to turn that into a, an objective on the backside was yeah. nil. And it was ultimately what ed ended their game for them because they had lost six turrets, they were about to lose a seventh, and there was a chase up mid lane that extended all the way to the Baron Pit where they actually just like overextended because all they wanted to do was fight since they couldn't actually get the split push going. Speaking of which, let's pull up the replay. That Woo. nets a Baron. We can take a look at that, get a first hand. Uh, sense of what you're talking about here, Jeff. Right. This was a small window where Team Dinger Toss thought that they could finally get some pressure back, but they're down seven turrets right now, so they really have no way to fall back. We can just get into this right now because Kiray is heavy DPS. They just want to fight, but they want it so badly that they funnel into this really tiny choke point. Yes, they landed the Bardolph, but they actually can't engage very well. So as soon as they come out of it, everyone on Team Dinger Toss is in this very tiny choke and the retaliation from energy can hit. Kong Quan can go in, land the CC, it combos with GBM, Moon gets to fly in. Altec, it seemed like we were so close to a triple kill on a couple of occasions. We were hoping that the Luden's Echo Ooh, yeah. would have popped would have gotten the triple, triple kill, kill. <laughs> but it wasn't to be. Uh, that kill, as Moon unfortunately couldn't finish the Kiwi Kid, led to the Baron, which led to a fight in the mid lane, which ended the game. So it was very much Team Nigatos just like desperately trying to come back, but it just didn't work. Yeah, you have to give a lot of props to the front line as well there. I mean, we see the Alistar and the Poppy going in, creating the space, and it's like, as Nidalee, Ezreal, and Karma, you almost have to try to miss when they're coming into that funnel, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're going to hit something, That's true. Right? A mantra Q definitely yeah, exactly. expands. Covering the whole thing. So, uh, I, I mean, it's definitely dangerous. You have to really consider, but you can see elements of frustration when you're fighting against a poke comp, and they're just constantly poking away, poking away, poking away. It's like, when's my turn to fight, right? right? And, and sometimes you can kind of get bait, get baited into these frustration fights it's like oh we can do it let's just go right yep. you have to you have to take your moment and they ended up in a kind of disadvantageous position yep. very clear example in this game of a team that had full control of the game in the macro play and then a team on the back foot looking yeah. for their only really way into the game saying boom and yeah overreaching one time and that's kind of the the yeah, last uh, straw that breaks, breaks the camel's back stick around we've got more <laughs> league action headed your way in just three and a half when renegades takes on immortals don't go anywhere what did you just say? I didn't even... That's because it's C9 versus TSM today. Oh, really? Wait, is it yeah. C9 versus TSM? Yeah. Oh my god, that's hype. I'm ready. I'm excited for that match. Not as hype as Wait, our game. Time to stop.
getting locked down. Nobody was there with him. He's forced to flash. Fates call comes back in, and that's going to be impact. The first kill of the game. Okay. 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 It's fine. Slowly, 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 slowly. Slowly, slowly. I'm low. I'm low. Yeah. Bro, I'm, 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 I can't take it. Okay. I can't take it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Impacts in, knocks up Apollo so they can get him down and Alltech finds the auto. Now into Billy Boss, Conquan super tanking the turret for the team as they get by. Energy Esports takes down Team Dignitas.